the driver of uh, Chip Ganassi's number one car, Jamie McMurray. Oh, he's loving that. First question. I didn't hear that. <laughs> I think I'm thankful. First question for Jamie. Here we go. Holly Kane, NASCAR.com. Hi, Jamie. Hello, how are you? I'm great, thank you. Good. Um, I, just, I've been asking a, a lot of people, but if you could just talk about the new format, the championship, and, and what they do. What do you think? Just kidding. Just kidding. So, is Utter in here? It's too bad because I was going to compliment him. I thought uh, I heard his uh, uh, description of of why he liked the change on the radio this morning and um, and I really hadn't thought about that and and what he said that it, that really resonated with me is that our sport was was you know 500 mile races 600 mile races it was all about being able to make it to the end and even when I first started racing um, at a track like Martinsville you would always have at least one car run out of brakes maybe, maybe more um, somebody always broke a rear gear um, it seemed like every race there was someone at, uh, at a mile and a half track that would blow up maybe maybe two people and, and if it was uh, an engine builder maybe all those engines would blow up in the race so we just don't have that anymore right like our, our cars are so good now the engines are so good we, we don't have many uh, engine failures a few a year Nobody really runs out of brakes at Martinsville anymore. We don't. We don't tend to break break gears. Um, so I, I like the idea because it's it's changed, and I think we needed the same change to happen. Um, I, I've heard the word exciting. I don't. I don't. I think that's uh, just the the easiest way to explain it. But uh, I like the strategy that's going to come from the format. And the, the best way to describe that is if we go to a track that it rains a lot and they have to have a competition caution. It's great when the caution happens to fall 10 laps before that um, because you get some strategy. You get people that put tires on. Sometimes the leaders don't. If it's a track that tires are really important, it creates a little bit of, of excitement, right? I mean, you, you have guys that are, are a lot of passing going on. Um, then the caution comes out 10 laps later, and you get to see if those guys all pit. Did they make up enough ground? So I like the fact that we're going to have that every week. Um, I also like the fact that the plate races, um, I, have, I have been on the side of, of riding in the back. Um, it, it might be one of the most boring things in your life to ride seven seconds behind a pack at Daytona or Talladega just to get in a wreck at the end, right? Even though you've done all the right things, you still get caught up in the wreck. I like that uh, the duels and, and the races are going to pay for the segments. Um, I also like the fact at any track that we go to, if you run really well all day long, you're rewarded for that. And, and if for some reason your engine does blow up or you get caught up in a wreck at the end, if you ran well all day long, you're going to get something out of that. And I think that is, uh, I just, I mean, I can't find anything, uh, any negative side to it. Next question, Jordan. Jordan Bianchi, SB Nation. Jamie, we know Jimmy is not always the most popular driver um, among fans because of the success. Among his competitors, though, his fellow competitors. What you, I'm sorry, I really didn't hear you. Jimmy Johnson, he's, oh, not okay. always, he's not always the most popular driver among fans because he wins so much. Yep. Among drivers, though, as a person and as a driver, what's his reputation? Um, I mean, Jimmy is, uh, I, I, I mean, I, I don't know anyone that doesn't like Jimmy. Um, I feel like he's the guy that you would like not to like because he does win all the time. He's got a beautiful wife. He's got great looking kids. I mean, he just kind of has everything, but he's just always so nice. Um, and I have known him since 2000, I believe, um, when we were running the Bush series together. And I've had some, some great moments with him uh, prior to getting married. Um, we've had some, a lot of fun times together. Um, but I see him talking to, you know, new guys that come to the sport, or, or maybe it's a, a rookie in the truck series. He just, he's really nice to everyone. And uh, I mean, I just, I, I couldn't find anything bad to say about him. Really great guy. Stan Creekmore with a hand in the air in the uh, middle of it. And Len is making her way there with the microphone. Jamie Stan Creekmore with Outside the Box. Okay, a fellow Missourian lays down his helmet, steps out of the car. Is that, it, have you ever had the thought that you wanted to step outside of a car, being from Missouri as well? Um, I don't know that the state you're born in really has anything to do with the retirement factor. <laughs> that seems like a pretty big stretch. 
I'm going to try to link those, but I don't think I can. Uh, no, I mean, I was completely taken back by, um, by Carl's decision. Uh, I think, like, ever, maybe there's someone in here that knew, but uh, I was blindsided by that. And, um, I, I mean, honestly, I hope that more comes of that story. I hope to, to learn there's uh, – when I, I didn't actually watch the, the press conference. I, I read some quotes from it just because I was curious, right? Um, and I don't really know Carl well enough to, to call him, I feel like, and, and ask him outright. But uh, I don't know. My, my gut tells me that maybe we'll hear more later on. Um, but, yeah, I was, I was pretty taken back by that. Darren? Uh, Dan McFadden with NBC Dan. Sports. Uh, g going back to the, the, the ch this year's changes, how, how much in the know were, like, were you and like, Kyle Larson kept in on like, the discussions around him through the offseason? What was it like for you? Waiting to once again hear how your profession was changing. Uh, are you talking about the format change? So, so um, I think all the drivers were kept in the loop, um, whether it's through the you know the the group me text or message that we have uh, kind of going on, um, or through the team. I actually probably learned more through the team than I did uh, on the on the text. Um, and it was somewhat of a progressive discussion where some things that we talked about didn't happen, other things we didn't talk about did. Um, so when, when the announcement came out, I, um, I already had a really good idea what was gonna, what was gonna happen. Um, you know, when I read Twitter, I, I, I got angry as I read the, the negativity around it from fans because I think it's, it's so hard to criticize something before you see it, right? Like it, it, um, we live in a world that uh, I feel like people don't like change, and it's unless it's for the president. Um, that was supposed to be funny, okay? That was, that was supposed to be like a really funny joke. I feel like Matt Kenseth right there at that moment. <clears throat> His jokes worked. Good for him. Um, so I, I think change is hard, and I, I actually um, had a phone conversation with uh, with with an, a friend that's involved in NASCAR that uh, has been around for a long time, and and he was kind of on that same page. And I, I called him out, and I'm like, I don't understand how you can be upset about it when we haven't even tried it yet. Um, because personally, I I like everything about it. Uh, I, to me, it it just it's it's what we needed, and and uh, so. I mean, I was somewhat involved in, in listening to it and hearing the, the different steps. So I think not just being hit with everything at one time, it wasn't quite as shocking as, as maybe what it was to a, a, a fan that, uh, that didn't have any idea, and then it all came about. Jim Utter made it back if you want to tell him. Where are you? He's straight ahead of you. God, I gave you props earlier. I did. Mm -hmm. I listened to you. I don't know when you did the interview, but I listened to you on the radio this morning. Um, give your description of, of why you like the new format change and the fact that, uh, you know, we don't have as many engines blowing up. We don't have brake failures. That it's not necessarily about making it to the end of the races now because the equipment's so good. The teams are so good. The drivers are so good. And I thought that was a, the best description I'd heard so far. So nice work. Now, can I ask you a question now? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Jim Utter, motorsport.com. Uh, you, you don't have to state your name. That's all right. Mm -hmm. Were you surprised that um, I kind of talked about this yesterday with some people, but, you know, everyone jokes that you can't get anyone to agree on anything in NASCAR. Were you surprised that all these different groups were able to come together and at least agree on some of the main tenets that would produce this? Because uh, a lot of times there seem to be competing interests in NASCAR. I'm not completely surprised. I, you know, I, I feel like over the past um, past two or three years, we've made a lot of changes to the car, and and I feel like we've kind of worn that dial out. Even though, in my opinion, we've went the right direction, um, just getting the mid corner speeds down and getting tires that fall off a little bit more. So I think all that was great. Um, this to me was just the next step, and it uh, from from what I understand, from what I have been told, um, I think all of the teams uh, that were involved in in with NASCAR and making the decisions, um, everyone was kind of pulling the rope the same direction. Um, so I'm I'm not completely shocked by that because I think you had a large group of grown-ups in a room that all were trying to, to get the same thing accomplished.